popping and clicking join. What, what can you tell the patients about that? Well, typically it means there is mechanical injury, okay? So if a joint makes noise, um, something is going on. It could be the disc is now slipped and, and you can't tell the degree. It could be a small amount or a big amount. Um, and then you can get clicking if there's roughening of the surface, kind of like a knee. You know, sure. if you have a knee injury, it may pop and crack some, uh, but if it starts picking up more crepitant noise, then there's mechanical injury on the surface, okay? Yeah. Uh, what I think, if patients really want to know, let's say, they, say they've had an injury and their TMJ starts popping, the second thing they should look at is their bite. How's your bite feel? If you have clicking in the joint and your bite is different, that's a more significant mechanical alteration in the TMJ. And we can always tell, you know, either you can't get your back teeth together, well, that's swelling in the joint. Sure. Uh, or your back teeth are hitting really hard on one side, well, that's either swelling the other side or it's loss of dimension on the side where you're hitting the teeth harder. And then if, if there's kind of a generalized pain, the teeth all hurt and and the muscles hurt. That's a that's a more generalized response. That can be part of sympathetics. Yeah. So, I I once thought that you know you can you can design questionnaires and things that reasonably uh, could tell a patient that they probably do or don't have a TMJ problem. Okay. Hmm. And if you were to design that, you would say, well, have you ever had a a stretch or compression injury to your jaw joint? Well, what's a stretch injury? Well, intubation. Um, you're being put to sleep. You get your tonsils out. Your mouth is held open for a long time for a dental procedure or something like that. Uh, compression injury. Well, you, you hit your chin. And when you hit your chin, you put pressure on the TMJs. Whiplash is kind of a combination of both. It's, it's stretch and compression both. And we always think in terms of a whiplash to the neck. Every whiplash to the neck creates a whiplash to the jaw, okay? So those are the common things. So you would start, do I have a TMJ problem? Well, have you ever had a mechanical injury? You know, that's a starting point. Uh, second question, does your jaw make noises? And the noises could be crackling or it could be cracking or popping, okay? Yeah. That again is a mechanical injury. Uh, have you ever had periods of time when the jaw was tighter to open? Okay, now that could be mechanical in the joint. It could be a Crips response. Has your bite changed? Okay, do you now hit your back teeth more than you used to? Uh, do you find that your back teeth get sore, especially when you wake up in the morning? Those indicate bite type changes oftentimes related to the TMJ. And another key question is, did you have braces growing up? Now, if you had braces, most braces are over in a year or two. Right. If you took six years, something unusual was going on yeah. that the orthodontist had to chase. And what I call retraction therapy, okay, that, an example of that would be child goes through brace work and they have to take out bicuspids to pull the teeth around to make them meet. That's a red flag for a TMJ problem. So they had permanent bicuspid tooth extractions along with brace work. That's, that's a warning flag, a warning sign. So there, there are reasonable things about what a patient experiences, what's happened to them in the past, things they're noticing now, that I, I think patients in, in large numbers could pick up whether or not they've got a TMJ problem, yes. just from that type of design. That's important to know. And dentists can and should be doing that same type of thing.